Jesus is to me. We need to become Jesus experts who know the truth about Jesus. Life is like a Jesus school, but most people fail it. The most important thing that we can choose to be in life is a good friend of Jesus. Who Jesus is to me. He is God. He is my awesome creator. He is the king of the universe. He is worthy of the highest glory. He is the most important being in my life. He is the greatest. He is most awesome. He is the most beautiful. He is light. He is a billion times more greater than his creation is. He is worthy of my worship. He is worthy of my great praise. He is worthy of my great thanks. He is worthy of my great love for him. He is a desire of my praise and worship and thanks and dance for him. He is my rich, wise, all-powerful, in control, invisible, loving, best friend who is always with me. He is as real as I am. He is the one who causes my heart to beat. He is invisible. He is always with me. He is always here. He is someone who never leaves or forsakes me. He is love. He is the one who loves me the most. He loves me unconditionally. He greatly loves me the same all the time. He is the one who loves me so much that he suffered terribly on a cross to take my sin's punishment away from me. He died upon a cross to try to get closer to me. He is my great high priest bringing me closer to him. He is my sacrificial lamb for my sins. He is a wearer of crucifixion scars for my sins. He is the giver of his blood, which cleanses me from all of my sin. He makes me as white as snow in his eyes with his cleansing blood. He makes me as righteous as he is, as a gift. He is eternal. He is holy. He is perfect and never makes a mistake. He is all-powerful. He is in control. 
He is my inspiration. He is the Word of God. He is the truth. He is my truth teacher. He is wise. He is strong. He is rich. There is nothing too difficult for him to do for me. He is an awesome free gift giver to me. He is the giver of abundant life. He is the giver of eternal life in heaven forever. He wants to live with me in his paradise forever after I die. He communicates with me through prayer. He is praying for me. He is my good shepherd. He is my perfect husband. He is my provider. He is my strength. He gives me his power to be able to do whatever he asks me to do. He loves and treasures his friendship with me. He delights in my faith in him. He delights in my preaching and teaching about him. He lives in me. He is my source of spiritual happiness. He is a giver of perfect peace, fullness of joy, and perfect love. He is a drawer of me to himself. He wants to draw closer to me when I seek to draw closer to him. He has chosen me to be a friend of his forever, if I want to be. He is my best friend to party with. He is the most exciting being, more exciting than his creation is to me. He always has a million times more than I need. He is the owner of all the gold. He buys for me whatever I need with his riches and glory. He always says to me, don't worry about money, I'm buying. He always says to me, don't worry about protection, I'm protecting you. He is taking good care of me. He is one with me. He holds my hand and says to me, Fear not, I am here. He is the satisfier of my soul. He is always for me never against me. He is a very present help in my times of trouble. He is my comforter in my sufferings. He is the one who works all of my sufferings out for my good. 
He is my faith builder through my sufferings and problems and temptations. He is trying to renew my mind to his truth and conform me more to his image. He is a super God who is spiritually empowering me to become more like he is. He is the one who is living inside of me now. He is my source of super God power in me. He wants me to follow his voice and do his good will for my life. He doesn't want me trying to do his will out through me. He wants to do his will out through me instead. He is my perfect problem solver. He is my safety. He is my rest giver. He is my fear remover. He is my depression remover. He helps me to not let the wicked world bother me. He is the opposite of who Satan tries to say that he is in my mind. He is my example of the most successful person to follow when he lived on the earth. He is the one who learned obedience through the things which he suffered here on earth. He is a doer of good works through me. He is a producer of good fruits through me. He is the truth who sets me free. He is supernatural. He is spiritual. He is a giver of spiritual gifts to his church. He is miraculous. He is a healer. He is a raiser of the dead. He is a demon deliverer. He is a spiritual warfare winner. He is the commander of his angels. He is my good sin discipliner. He is my sinful flesh nature killer. His technology is a billion times more powerful than evil man's technology is against me. He is the controller of the tribulation. He is the puppet controller of Satan. He is the punisher of this evil world. He will be the controller of World War III. He is the controller of plagues. He can keep me safe in a lion's den or a fiery furnace. He could feed me in the desert for 40 years if he wanted to. He could drop my enemies dead at my feet like he did with Ananias if he wants to. 
He controls the world leaders and directs them to do his will. He is my dream giver. He is my vision giver. He is my boss. He is my leader. He is my guide. He is my director. He is my discipler. He is my death remover. He is a present comforter through my death. He is my judge. He is a punisher of sin. He is a rewarder of obedience. He wants me to become like a good and faithful and loving and joyful servant of all for my greatest success in life. He is the one who sends people to his hell forever. He is the one who sends people to his heaven forever. He is my rewarder on my judgment day. He is a suffering love rewarder in heaven.